Jonathan bought six CDs and nine DVDs. All CDs are identically priced and all DVDs are identically priced. The cost of each DVD is $2 more than the cost of each CD. Total, the total cost of six CDs is $33 less than the total cost of nine DVDs. How much did Jonathan spend altogether? Now, I'm going to use algebra to solve this problem and I'm going to start the solution by defining a variable. I'm going to assume the cost of each CD is X dollars. If that's the case, the cost of each DVD has to be x plus 2 uh, because the question says the cost of DVD is $2 more. So it has to be x plus 2. Now, Jonathan didn't buy one DVD and one CD. He bought six CDs and nine DVDs. So we need to find the cost of six CDs and nine DVDs. Well, let's see what we have here. This is what we have here. If the cost of one CD is x, the cost of six CDs should be six times x. If the cost of one DVD is x plus two, the cost of nine DVDs must be nine times x plus two. So far, so good. Make sure you get how we got these two expressions. Now we are going to take a work on a very important step. We are going to write our equation, which is the most challenging part when it comes to solving an algebraic problem. Now the question says, the cost of six CDs is $33 less than the cost of nine DVDs. That tells me the total cost of that tells me that the total cost of nine DVDs subtract the total cost of six CDs must equal 33. That tells me the difference between the two prices must be 33 and we know the nine DVDs cost more than six CDs so that's what we're gonna write. So this is what I'm trying to say here. 9 times x plus 2 is the cost of 9 DVDs. Subtract 6x, the cost of 6 CDs, must be 33. So that's an important step. You really want to see how we got this equation. You really do. Now what we're going to do, we're essentially going to go ahead and solve this equation, which is very easy to solve. So how do we solve this equation? We distribute 9 over x plus 2 and we have 9x plus 18 minus 6x plus 33. And then what do we do? Well, we can subtract 6x from 9x, we're going to get 3x and we can subtract 18 from 33 and we are going to get 3x is equal to 15. If we divide both sides by 3, we get x is equal to 5. That, remember what x was? x was the cost of one CD. So, I, uh, so basically each CD cost five dollars and each DVD cost five plus two seven dollars. You can write it down if you want but we're almost done. Um, let's see how we can find really find out what the question is asking for. The question is wanting us to find how much money did he spend altogether? Well, if the cost of X was the, remember from the previous slide, X is the cost of one CD. So he bought six CDs. I'm going to take six times five, thirty dollars. That's what he spent on the six CDs. Remember, if X is the cost of each CD, a DVD was two dollars more. Seven must be the cost of each DVD. Five plus two is seven. And he bought nine DVDs. 9 times 7. If each DVD is $7, 9 DVD must be $63. So this is 9 times 7 and this is 6 times 5. When you add them up, you get 93. That's the total amount he spent. That's your answer.